Thursday afternoon, and we've got basketball on the agenda. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Denver Nuggets. This is Brian Anderson. With me, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. And reporting courtside, it's Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, the Warriors had an unusual opportunity. Retain a championship core while adding star caliber youngsters. To maximize their success, the team has invested heavily in player development. That requires some changes in the coaching staff, but Brian, the new energy and the ideas have been a positive. All right, Allie, thanks. Let's take a look at our starters for Denver. Porter Jr. and Gordon at the three and the four. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. And it's Jokic in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Golden State, the core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. This could be a chess match tonight. We have two very smart teams that tend to make great decisions. And that's the value of experience. You know what you're good at and you limit your mistakes. It's hard to fool a person who sees it all. Tip-off goes to Denver. Who's got your ball? Now Jokic. Outside Porter. Three-pointer. Looney grabs a miss. Porter against Wiggins. Back to Thompson. The three is up. Nails it from three. Let me just say this. Clay Thompson is one of about ten people in NBA history that you do not want to leave open for a three. The defense has to make it harder for him out there. Now here's Jokic. Back to Murray. Let's it fly. That one off the back iron and out. Curry with it. Checked by Murray. Curry against Murray. Takes a 13-footer, and he gets it to go. Well, Curry's accuracy makes the mid-range easy pick as he just goes up, nails the shot with ease. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, Steph Curry set the record for most threes made in NBA history during the 21-22 season. Murray passes to Jokic. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And Stefan set that record against the Knicks, Richard. Yeah, with Ray Allen in attendance to watch as he passed him on the list. You can tell it meant a lot to Steph. Maybe the greatest shooter, not maybe, the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. The free throw drops for Jokic. No question, Nikola Jokic is everything a modern big should be. He's a versatile player who can both start and finish offensive plays for his team. Now here's Curry. Looney, a screen on Murray. The three from Curry. And the Warriors with another three. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And here's Thompson for three. And that comes off the assist by Green. Thompson's got six points. Nice timing on the pass from Green. Finding the open guy with ease. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Murray with it. It's stolen by Green. They push it up four on three. Thompson outside. The three from Curry. Doesn't go for him. And the Nuggets going the other way now. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Pass to Jokic. The shot off that time. Looney with some nice D. Here's Wiggins. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now we see him at times playing a bunch at a the break. four. Take a break. Two shots.
first one falls. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four at times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. Both good from the line that time. Yeah, the first overall pick in 2014, Andrew Wiggins has carved out a nice career as a scoring wing. Gordon outside. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. They get it again. Jokic. Oh, they can't stop the run with that one. Golden State has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Looney finds Wiggins. Outside, Green. Five on the clock. Pass to Curry. Got a hand on it. Here's Jokic. Now here's Murray. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. The combo guard, Murray. Capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. Looney passes to Curry. Outside, Green. To the middle. And stolen by Jokic. Pass to Murray. Porter with it. Beyond the arc. Hauled in by Curry. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Here's Looney. Wiggins with it. Shot clock at six. And there's the drive from downtown. And the Warriors miss again. Pass to Murray. Jokic with a screen on Curry. Now here's Jokic. Now Porter. Here's Jokic. Green covering. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul of the game. Now a timeout called by Denver. And it's a completely new group here for the Warriors. One ten left to play in the first. Pass to Najee. And here's Brown for three. Buries it from three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Warriors have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Now here's DiVincenzo. Green with a screen on Smith. 
Here's Poole. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Smith. Smith. 32 seconds left in the opening quarter. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. get the first one. Good on the second one. The former home of the Warriors, Richard, Oakland. What was it like to play over in the East Bay? Listen, it was a lot more fun when I was playing in a Warriors uniform versus playing against them. Those crowds are insane. Maybe the loudest in the NBA, although the Boston fans might have a little bit of something to say about that. But I must say, this new building is gorgeous. Poole against Smith. Green with a screen on pool. For three, Smith. The shot misses. And so it's the Golden State Warriors finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Warriors? The Warriors leading. Kaminga is out there with Andre Iguodala. Then it's Jordan Poole. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Green in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. To the inside. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. These are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, I mean, to get a shot like that on a drive, oh, it's those type of plays that will chip away at the lead. Now here's Poole with some arc, and it's good on the lay-in. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Brian, a screen on Poole. Jackson with it. Green picks him up. And Green, good for three. This is why you always have to chase guys off the arc because everyone has a three-point shot now. Poole against Bryant. Pass to DiVincenzo. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Nuggets trail. Jackson, the pass to Bryant. That three's off the mark. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Poole up top. Fires for three. And it's Denver with a rebound. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Nikola Jokic again has won the league MVP, but he's not one to beat his own chest. He said, quote, I never think about it. I didn't come here to be the MVP of the league. I always think that somebody's better than me, and I want to compete to beat them. Just by that mentality alone, I'm the underdog every time. Brian? Well, it's working for him, Ali. Thanks. Here's Poole. The Nuggets getting their last shot to go. The three ball. And again, no good by Golden State. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Bryant, a screen on pool. Jackson, pass to Bryant. Green with the ball. Six to shoot. 
Here's Bryant inside. Working on Green. Bryant, no good. That's just the bucket play that you expect him to make. It's tough when he missed those. Kaminga down low. Green covering. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Uh, entering the NBA can be a difficult challenge. And age can add to that challenge. Jonathan Kaminga was just 19 years old when he stepped onto an NBA court. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. Boy, being so young for his draft class, Kaminga has done well in the league, Richard. What I like is how he's capitalized on his minutes. Any chance he gets to shine, he works hard to make the most of it. That's the kind of dedication that is invaluable in a young guy. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And the Warriors will go with a different look here. Draymond Green, he's checked in for Green. Wiggins comes in for Iguodala. Thompson, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And it's Curry in for Poole. he sinks the second. Well, Richard, 17 years for you as a player. If you were to give some advice to someone starting their playing career right now, what do you think that would be? Oh, it would always be get your routine down. Get your pregame routine. Get your summer routine. you got to figure out what it is that makes your game work because it's hard as you get older. NBA careers don't last very long, but if you put your routine, you put your game first, everything else will fall in line. And here are the Warriors now. Following the score by Denver. Out, out. To the paint. Murray. He nails it. And we're tied. Skilled finish by Murray. He can score inside and outside. Really anywhere on the court. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Green finds Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And here's Denver. They're on an 11-3 run. Pass to Jokic. Gordon outside. Here's Murray. Banked it in off the glass. Murray's gotten his second bucket. And once Gordon spots an open guy, he immediately moves the ball. Just well-coached offense right there. Top of the key. And the Warriors miss again. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Pass to Jokic. Shoots over Kaminga. And there's Jokic on the assist by Porter. And it's a four-point Denver lead. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Curry passes to Wiggins. Up and over Porter. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Denver's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. 
Nails it from beyond the arc. And the Nuggets lead by seven. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. And the Warriors call time here. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. A minute nine left in the second quarter. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. Now here's Murray. Gordon outside. Takes the three. And the dunk by Jokic. I love how Jokic is just relentless on the glass. His effort level has been special. Pass to Looney. Now Wiggins. He's guarded by Porter. Wiggins passes to Thompson. Hits the trifecta. Thompson's got nine. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. And here's Denver. They're on a 20-6 run. Gordon with a screen on Curry. Murray passes to Jokic. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Jokic has got eight here in this quarter. Yeah, he's showing off that little sweet touch of his. I mean, Jokic knows he can take this shot whenever he wants. Basket counts. Hey, that right there was a lot of confidence given the size of the disadvantage there. And I like his belief in his game. Go at the taller defender, make him react to you. And again, Nikola Jokic. He's got 13. From second round pick to an absolute star, Jokic can burn you in many ways offensively. It's been all about Nikola Jokic for Denver. He put together 10 points in the quarter. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm here alongside Coach Malone and Coach, a strong first half for this team. What was clicking for you? I love that ball movement, taking care of the ball, and that's something we've been harping on. Make a play for somebody else. And I thought we had many examples of that. Got to help yourself. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. It's been a clinic out there by Nikola Jokic. And he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half. How can they slow him down? 
the way to limit those offensive boards. It's just effort, guys. Whoever is guarding him has to get to position and beat him to the spot. On the court right now for the Nuggets. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. And it's Porter in its small forward. Wiggins no good on that one and when you're trying to slow down a top score often the game plan is to get physical Grant you would know better than anybody what's it like in the trenches here well B.A. it's interesting I mean it can wear on you it's a mental challenge when you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player it really becomes a battle of wills you have to stay focused you have to be disciplined and most importantly you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going Murray with it. Jokic with a screen on Curry. Pass to Jokic. This one for three. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors trailing. On the wing, Curry. He shoots it. Boy, oh, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Curry's got nine. You see players around the league trying to copy Curry's one motion shot, but there's only one step. Good work there as it goes. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. He's off on that one. And the Nuggets going the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Curry against Murray. Back to Jokic. Here's Caldwell Pope. Six on the shot clock. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got four rebounds now. Pass to Thompson. Here's Looney. Now here's Curry. Off the mark there with a three. And Aaron Gordon Grant, growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley, San Jose. Yeah, Aaron, using that to his advantage, involved with some apps. And we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. Great positioning on the putback. Impeccable timing from Jokic. Getting the positioning he wants and slamming the miss back in. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Curry, that's good. Willing passers, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Murray passes to Jokic. Now Porter. Outside Murray. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Green. Golden State has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Thompson finds Kaminga. Here's Green. Pass to Wiggins. Now Kaminga puts up a three. Rebounded by Green. And here's Jackson. Over Curry. The Nuggets with another miss. The Warriors have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Over to the wing. Let's it go from deep. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. And the Warriors make some changes. Payton's checked in for Wiggins. DiVincenzo comes in for Clay Thompson. And it's Poole in for Stephen Curry. Naji, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Brown comes in for Caldwell Pope. 
Brown passes to Jackson. And another miss by Denver. The Warriors shooting the rock around 43% since the third quarter began. Pass to Green. Now here's Payton. Poole with the ball. Green for three. And Bryant pulls it down. Bryant's got four rebounds now. Green against Payton. Jackson, the pass to Green. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists now in this one. And far from the best shot, but all that matters is the end result. Somehow he sinks it. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, We found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence. To keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Alec. Now here's Peyton. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pool outside. Three-pointer, no good. Denver in the lead. Pass to Jackson. There's 48 seconds left in the third quarter. The Warriors have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Makes a first, and the Warriors make some changes. Draymond Green, he's checked in for Green. And Iguodala subbed in for Kuminga. Porter Jr., he's checked in for the Nuggets. Smith comes in for Jackson. Both free throws good from DiVincenzo. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Outside, Brown. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Off the left rim and out. The Warriors trailing. Shot and game clock separated by five. Payton passes to DiVincenzo. Green with a screen on Brown. The kick out to Poole. 4-3. Hauled in by Brown. Pass to Porter. Ryan a screen on Payton. And here's Porter outside. And we've reached the end of the third. The Nuggets on top, up by seven. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And Denver has possession. They've led by as many as 11. All three shooters are out there. The splash triplets, Curry, Clay, and Poole. Green and Looney together inside. That's the Warriors five. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Curry finds Looney. Back to Curry from deep three-point range. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic the screen. Brown with it. And Looney picks him up defensively. Pass to Murray. Takes a three. Again, the miss by Murray. The Warriors shooting 41% in this game. Curry passes to Looney. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. Five to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Thompson, no good. The Nuggets have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. 
Porter, the pass to Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Well, the vertical Gordon has is phenomenal. So why settle for the layup when you can just slam it down? Murray against Curry. Pass to Thompson. From behind the arc. He buries it from three. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Murray. Here's Jokic. It's rebounded by Golden State. Looney's got six rebounds in the game. And here's Curry. Thompson outside. Looney inside. Gordon's on him. Looney passes to Thompson. And here's Poole. The three-pointer off the mark. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. And here's Gordon from the arc. It's rebounded by Golden State. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Pass to Looney. And here's Curry, defended by Murray. Curry against Murray. Curry, that's good. And this has become expected from Curry. Everyone knows how dangerous he is at getting to his spots and capitalizing. Jokic passes to Porter. Back to Jokic. Over Looney. And another miss by Denver. The Warriors have gone 2 of 5 from the field in this final quarter. Pass to Poole. Here's Looney. And out of bounds. Denver will have it. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Murray with it. And Looney picks him up defensively. Murray, no good. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Like, like what? Like, what is going on right now? Now Murray. Now a timeout called by Denver. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Guys, thanks a lot. I had a chance to hear what Mike Malone was saying to his team. He told them to be more careful about their selections, saying, quote, don't force it at the arc. If it's not a good look, don't risk it. Move the ball, attack inside. Use your options. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie.
inside Porter. Back to Murray. Clock at six to end the drought. And again, Denver no good. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. There is no moment that is too big for Steph Curry. Denver in the lead. Down low. It's stolen by Looney. Outside Curry. Green with a screen on Murray to take the lead. No good there. Now Denver takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 11. Order the pass to Murray. A minute nine left in the fourth quarter. Here's Jokic. Got a piece of it. And he's able to get it back. And the shot goes down. 103 left to play in the fourth quarter. Murray against Curry. Green, the pass to Curry. The three. Curry with another miss. Questionable shot selection on that three. Not really helping as they try and narrow the deficit. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Forty-three seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. And they double up Jokic. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Hits the first one, and that puts him up five. And talking about Gordon, just a freak athlete and ferocious dunker, a valuable role player on this team. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. I'm not going to lie, that's big, making all of those, giving them a little bit more breathing room. Golden State calls timeout. They're trailing by six. There's 37 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? They're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. Yeah, no time to waste. They basically have to execute things perfectly from here on out. Wiggins passes to Curry over Murray. Cash! And now they trail by just four. When it is crunch time and you've got Stephen Wardell Curry, the game plan is simple. Get him the ball.
shooting two. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Golden State calls timeout. They're behind by six. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Curry from deep three-point land. No good on the quick three. And so they foul intentionally. throws good and that makes it a seven point lead and a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line I hate to say it but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one yeah they fought as hard as they could just wasn't in the cards tonight Porter the pass to Jokic Now here's Murray. So the Nuggets win it, and they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure, but they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Well, Nicola, coach has talked about the growth of your leadership. What spurred you to become more vocal? I just want to help my teammates. I think if you say something, they're going to listen to me. I just want to make them better, so I'm just going to do that. Well, they're relying on your voice, so keep it up. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic.